Hello and welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, this one's a little bit different. This is all about optimizing your Cinema 4D layout. So the best way is to kind of show it. And if I jump into Cinema 4D, uh, you can see I actually have a layout called Startup User. And this is one that I made myself um, kind of, and it helps me to organize uh, all my workflow and so you can actually work a lot faster than uh, the default one so if I actually switch to the default one this is what you get and it's not bad I mean a lot of what you need is here but compared to um, my one I have a content browser here so I can see um, materials lights um, anything I want here um, I've got the render settings separate here so I can adjust them without having to go into a separate window um, my render view is actually inside this view as well um, Expresso editor if I'm doing any Expressos here as well um, so for me this works fine uh, but it's it all depends on what kind of work you're personally doing and also uh, how big your screen is because if I was to use this on my laptop screen uh, compared to this um, external monitor this can be very cramped um, the windows are too small or too big because uh, some I believe like this bottom one due to the thinking particles down here can't actually be any smaller so uh, this is this big on this monitor and on my laptop it takes up even more space so you have to be pretty careful um, with what you put where but I'll kind of talk you through how you can do it so I'll go back to the startup layout and I'll kind of teach you uh, first of all uh, I'll show you how to put say the content browser on the side here so we have a content browser already here um, and if you click on this kind of four dot uh, kind of four dot grid uh, you can actually click undock and that will actually give you the window here and you can actually hold it down and drag and put it there and straight away you have your content browser here so that's pretty much the first step um, to having whatever you like here and you can actually make uh, it a tab view like um, you can see here we have objects and structure in tabs that's pretty simple just click on that four dot grid again click uh, convert to tab and there you have it there and so like I have my render settings there so if we open up the render settings again we can just drag it and just drag it on to where it says content browser and it'll make it a tab there as well so that's some way you can kind of just adjust it uh, to whatever you like uh, you can do it with pretty much anything uh, you could grab these and stick them say above here and so if you have certain uh, tools which you use more often than not um, say you want uh, the button for extrude nerb somewhere you could in fact have that separate uh, rather than having to go in here each time the same goes for the plugins. Say you use uh, Nitro Blast a lot, you could drag that out and put it alongside um, here with this. Um, so you do have to then kind of reorganize things, and this may not have been a prime example, but as you can see there, we have um, kind of some tools you might use more often than not, and it means you don't have to go through the menus um, quite so often. Um, and it really speeds up um, workflow as well, uh, definitely. Um, the one I use, uh, it's not perfect by any means, but all the tools I want are where I kind of want them. Um, they're pretty useful, and it just saves a lot of time uh, in the long run. So I will actually be giving away this layout, which I'm using here. Um, this saves... Uh, a lot of time um, if you don't want to have to arrange it yourself and you like the way this looks a few people have asked for it so why not um, so to install it um, you can load 
up a layout, I believe. Um, if I give you the uh, layout file, uh, you might be able to load it up via that. Um, if not, um, you can see the path it goes to here is um, in your actual preferences. Uh, if you go to library, preferences, maxon, then whatever version you're using, library, layout, you can just put it here. Um, if I make this bigger, you'll be able to see the full path. Uh, so if you don't know where to put it, um, where's the folder in here? Okay. So, yeah, if you don't know where to put it, uh, just kind of pause the video here, make it full screen, and you'll be able to see, um, if you're on a Mac anyway, it's something similar on Windows. But you can kind of see the path you need uh, to put it in here. So, um, users, Ian, library, preferences, Maxon, whatever version, library, layout, and throw it in there. Uh, there might be an easier way. Um, I would personally try doing the um, customization load layout and then when you load it then you can save it as startup layout and that means when you um, open Cinema 4D uh, you don't have to click on any of these um, it'll already be the one you want so if you like the look at this look of this one then download it by all means and use it um, yeah if it speeds up your workflow then leave a comment or yeah if you've appreciated it Leave a like, comment, favourite, and all that good stuff. So I hope this has been helpful for you, and have a great day, everyone. I'll see you soon.